Today I will be changing the engine oil of this 2019 Hyundai Accent. Jack up the front and make sure to put some jack stands or axle stands. I always put the axle stands on the jacking points or at the back of the pinch weld, not on the pinch weld itself. You can use the pinch weld but be sure to put a caution or rubber in between to prevent the pinch weld from bending. Pop up the hood. What you are seeing right now is the 1.4 liter version of this Hyundai Accent. It isn't fast but it is enough for daily commute. Put a drain pan underneath the vehicle. The drain bolt for the engine oil is located here. This is the drain bolt and the oil filter. For the drain bolt, you need to use a 70mm socket. The oil filter of this engine is small. It gets to the point where I cannot use my oil filter tool. Instead, I will use a chain type oil filter tool. Use an extension to make it easier to remove the drain bolt. I decided to put a cardboard to prevent any oil from getting to the splash shield. Let the oil drain. Remove the oil cap and pull the dipstick to make the oil flow faster. I will now remove the oil filter using a chain type tool. It is hard to remove since the area is restricted or cramped. This is the drain bolt and it has a washer gasket. Most of the time, the washer gasket is hard to remove because it is pressed on the bolt. Remove the washer gasket using a regular pliers. These are pretty cheap and it is always a good idea to replace it every time you change your engine oil. This is the old oil filter. And this is the new one. Here is the code for your reference. The new one is longer, but it doesn't matter because as long as the threads and holes are matched, that oil filter is good to go. Before installing the new parts, clean the area first. Install the new washer gasket into the drain bolt. Then reinstall the drain bolt and make sure it is tight. Pour some new engine oil into the oil filter. This is usually done to help the engine lubricate faster when you start the car. This can only be applied on engines that has a vertical position oil filter. Lubricate the rubber o-ring to make it seal better. Do it on the surface of the oil filter housing too. Install the oil filter and tighten it only by your hands. No need to use an oil filter tool. Check the drain bolt and oil filter again to make sure that it is tight. Pour the new engine oil. You can find the engine oil capacity in your owner's manual. If you don't have an owner's manual, you can simply estimate it using the dipstick. To check the dipstick, pull it, wipe the ends, then insert it and pull it again to check the oil level.
I hope you find this video helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much and God bless.